There are few things more aggravating than a broken fastener. It can ruin your material and your whole day. Well, Kimball Midwest has a whole line of extractors designed to solve that problem. Let's start with the left-handed drill bit. This is usually the first tool you'll want to reach for when you have a stuck bolt. You'll need a drill with reverse, and when you drill the hole in the fastener, make sure you're dead center. The size of the hole you want to drill should be roughly two-thirds the size of the bolt you want to remove. The bit is left-handed, so you don't continue to tighten the fastener like you would with a right-hand drill bit. Nice thing is, the drill bit itself provides a left-hand force, so you've got about a 50-50 chance of removing the stuck fastener just using the drill bit. If it doesn't remove the fastener, you still have a hole that you're going to need to use with another of our extractors. It's a no-lose proposition starting with the left-hand drill bit. Kimball Midwest recently released a carbide-tipped left-handed drill bit. You'll want to consider using this extractor for really tough metals like set screws. If you're working with a cap screw, once you have your hole drilled, the next tool you want to reach for is the Super Prime Alloy Double Duty Screw Extractor. You'll notice the sharp point. Before you use the left-handed drill bit, you can use the extractor as a center punch. Once you've drilled the hole, tap in the screw extractor, then turn it using a wrench of your choice. With this unique straight fluted extractor and its sharpened sides, you can use it with both right hand and left hand threaded fasteners. Just turn it in the appropriate direction and it will bite into the side. Let's talk for a second about straight and spiral flute extractors. This screw extractor with a spiral flute is preferred by some because the curved flutes will automatically dig into the fastener. The more the fastener resists coming out, the more a spiral fluted extractor digs in. There are some who don't like the spiral flutes because they feel that the flutes expand the fastener as it digs in, making it even more difficult to remove the fastener. If you look at this Super Prime Alloy SP Plus screw extractor, it has straight flutes. These won't dig in for that extra bit of grip when removing a fastener like the spiral flute design, but it also won't apply additional expansion pressure to the fastener it's trying to extract. Now let's take a look at some specialty extractors. The Hex Out Damaged Socket Screw Extractor is designed specifically to remove stripped out socket head screws. No drilling necessary, just tap it in and back out the socket. Now what happens if you're tapping a hole and the tap breaks? <laughs> that could be a real nightmare. This is a tap extractor. If you look close, you can see the multiple extendable fingers. The fingers insert into the broken taps flutes and allow gripping the flutes securely. To use it, don't just try to give the tap a turn. First, pick the extractor that matches the flutes of the tap you're trying to remove. Extend the fingers, slide the fingers into the flutes of the tap, then slide the collar down so the fingers grip the tap securely. Second, spray a little penetrating oil into the hole and give it a few minutes to work. Then, with a hammer, give the extractor a few light taps. Third, and this is important, rock the extractor back and forth until the tap starts to loosen up. Finally, now you can turn the extractor and back the tap out. This is the final extractor I wanted to show you. I think you'll find this very interesting. To use it, start by threading the collet back from the tip of the extractor. Drill the tip of the extractor into the fastener. The tip is left-handed, so use reverse on your drill. Screw the collet down. Finally, with your drill still in reverse, drive the fastener out. We've just shown you a variety of ways to get out of a jam if you have a broken fastener or tap. If you need additional assistance, feel free to contact your Kimball Midwest representative. 
they'll be glad to help.